Wonderful good day to the corporate update from Gold Mining on Commodity TV, ladies and gentlemen. The company filed an independent national instrument for the 3101 technical report, including an updated preliminary economic assessment, a PEA, for its Lamina project in Antioquia in Colombia. Total projected production over the life of mine is approximately 1.74 million gold equivalent ounces, averaging 155,500 ounces annually over the estimated 11 year mine life. The projected life of mine production is expected to be 1.29 million ounces gold, 204 million pounds copper, and almost 3 million ounces silver, with recovery rates of 91% for gold, 80% for copper, and 64% for silver. The net present value after tax at a 5% discount is approximately $279 million, calculated at base prices of $1,750 per ounce gold, $21 for silver, and $3.5 per pound copper. Taking today's spot prices, the figure is already at a good $442 million. The all-in sustaining costs, the AIC, are expected to be a favorable $912 only per ounce gold after byproduct credits. The capex will be approximately $425 million for a 15,000 ton per day processing plant fed by a conventional open pit mining operation with truck and loader. The after-tax IRR is 15.2% with a payback period of 5.6 years, although we believe there is room for improvement. Compared to the PEA figures published by the company in its 24th July 2023 press release, the results disclosed here and in the technical report include minor corrections primarily to account for plant availability and clarify certain calculations. For example, the estimated total mine life has been revised to 11.2 years from the previously reported 12.2 years due to an increase in annual throughput estimates to reflect nominal capacity. We view gold mining as really undervalued. The chart shows a double bottom that has been just undercut, but we believe it will hold. A first price target is two and a half Canadian dollars, and in the longer term, we can well imagine the old high of three Canadian dollars 75 from 2020. Through its disciplined acquisition strategy, the company now controls a diversified portfolio of resource stage gold and gold copper projects in Canada, the US, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. Also, it owns over 21 million shares of gold royalty, 9.8 million shares of US gold mining, and 16.6 million shares of NEF gold. The fully diluted market cap is over $200 million and is completely covered by cash and the previously described company stocks. That means you get 13.4 million ounces gold equivalent of measured and indicated resources and almost 10 million ounces gold equivalent as inferred resource for free on top of that. A blatant undervaluation and a great entry opportunity. I did it. You can also find all information on our Commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything about commodities. We appreciate a like and more importantly, subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the following disclaimer. The stocks discussed are part of the SRC Mining, SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and of course I am a shareholder in gold mining. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.